What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the CA Corvette. Um, I went ahead and purchased the front and rear splash guards along with um, the premium all-weather Jake logo floor mats um, from WeatherTech. So we're gonna go ahead and get those installed. Um, but I want you to stay tuned to the channel. Um, hit that subscribe button because I have a video coming up that um, I could never find a video or any kind of answers on the forums um, much about Z51 versus non Z51 C8 in the body roll of um, if it was any difference in body roll between the Z51 and the non Z51 that has magnetic control. Um, and since taking delivery of my C8, I wanted to um, do that comparison for anybody that's probably um, questioning that same concept that I had. Um, like I was saying, I've never seen it really answered on the forums or um, on YouTube or anything. So I want to make that for you guys that uh, might have that same issue. I am really curious to see if the non Z51 with magnetic ride um, has any body roll in corners while in track mode. I know track mode stiffens up the, um, shocks a lot. So probably it tones any body roll if any um i will say i haven't really experienced any body roll um while cornering but i haven't you know been driving too aggressive while breaking it in but after our trip back home um last week uh, it's fully broken in now so we can get a little aggressive with it and um test it out for you guys so let's go ahead and get into this video all right guys so this is where we're gonna go to the front um, driver's side splash guard. So it has one bolt up under. And what I'm gonna be using um, is a 930 seconds um, to get that bolt unloosened. So this is the bolt you're gonna take loose. See, I did break two. I want to make sure that you get this tab in this hole right here. The tab is going to have to go in this notch right here. Make sure you get that in there. To make it much easier, what you can do is cut your wheels in and it'll give you more room access to this metal panel i just figure i'll do it this way um but on the passenger side i probably will cut the wheels in and give me more room to access these Proceed to put the seven millimeter bolt on the bottom, and you finished. Okay, move it along to the rear. It's basically the same step. You got one seven millimeter bolt up on the knee. Seven millimeter bolt right here. It's gonna be a little tighter in this rear section. Um, but we're gonna go for it. And I just found it easier to come from the bolt side with your thumb underneath. And that's going to be your wedge. And then you just wedge it right up along the wheel well. 
navigated to pop out. There you go. I got all four out without breaking any clips. Like the front, you're gonna have a, a, a insert tab that's gonna go right in that little tab right there. Line everything up. Stop mess. See, you got your adrenaline ring stitching. Jake logo with the tech mats. Very tight fit, nice quality. I think they'll do a good job. Yeah guys, I picked up the front and rear splash guards at a shop, ChevyParts.com. Um, I think that was $56 each set, front and rear. And the C8 Jake logo. Um, all weather floor mats. Uh, they came in at uh, 146 for the set. All right, guys, I appreciate y'all coming through for the assembly of the front and rear splash guards. Also, the premium all weather Jake logo mats. So stay tuned to the channel. I got some more C8 content coming up. I think you might like it. Uh, we're going to test out this non z51 that's equipped with the magnetic rod control we're gonna see if it has any body roll during cornering versus the z51 so stay tuned for that video coming up soon until the next time peace